Well, I think it's wonderful as, as we look back at, that it's actually been 40 years and that uh, the Friends is still a strong organization and growing. And it started out very small and uh, it's just gradually growing year by year and I hope that it will continue to grow and will continue to benefit the library. And it's just, it's nice. And, and everybody that is involved in the Friends organization, I think just like me, has stays involved even after they've left the Friends board. They're volunteering somewhere or out advocating for the library someplace in the town. And that's very important. Oh, good. Um, Once a friend, always a friend. I think the friends are positioning themselves to have an incredible future. I think it was maybe a bit of a surprise, a very happy surprise, to a lot of the longtime Friends members when last year we worked together on really um, improving the processes of the Friends about what a big, important organization it had become. <clears throat> it started as a small group of volunteers who were really devoted to the library and helping the library. Um, and it's grown into a $300,000 nonprofit organization. It is an important force, not just for the library, but in this community. And I think that's just going to continue. They are, they have three businesses that they run and maintain. Their book sale, the boutique, and now online sales. And I think that's going to do nothing but grow. Um, I think the other thing that's really exciting is, is that with Mary Campbell joining the Friends as their office manager, there's that wonderful leadership there now, working with the, the volunteer leadership uh, to really grow the organization and grow the Friends members. Because I think that we'd all agree that it would be wonderful if every single person who has a library card was also a Friends member. And so um, that's what I'm predicting for the future, that the Friends are just going to continue to grow and be more and more successful and bring more and more people into the library family. Because it, it's always been a wonderful library. And, and it continues to be the best. And that, that I think, is, is what recognizing what you've gone through in order to get where you are. And hopefully all along the way, even in this economy, it's going to continue to serve the people. It's going to continue to be a, a, a library that people talk about. I can imagine <clears throat> that the library will change incrementally, not dramatically. That there, that there will be changes and that, as I said before, there will be more information seeking in the hands of individuals that won't necessarily go through the library. But the library will be providing programming functions, education, informal educational functions that really don't take place in the home. And getting books from so many different sources than libraries, it's hard to know just what kind of programming, what, what is it the public library will be doing in 50 years that isn't being done by a lot of people in a lot of different ways. I think it's hard to say. I think one thing the library probably will remain is a wonderful community place where people could get together for um, <clears throat> For research and sharing of ideas and exploring new ideas and more children. I don't know of any uh, story or that's as much fun for a kid as coming to the library and having that experience. And they've been doing that for years and I've watched it and I love it and I've seen little children laugh and cry and, and, and be overjoyed by that kind of an experience. I think the future would be to find new endeavors, new, new ways of, uh, of helping the library through programming, raising money, all that, that sort of thing. Uh, I think there are things ahead of us that we can't even imagine, and I think that's very exciting. And they're developing right before our eyes, because in the last couple of years we've been doing online yes, sales. Yes, we're selling online. We're selling online. Uh, we have the, the big book sale. We have four bag sales a year. Uh, we're very busy. 
We're very, very busy. Looking for new and creative ways. New and creative ways. To support the library. And we have such a wonderful staff. Uh, uh, Bobby, who is in charge of the boutique, and Mary, who is in charge of the friend's Mm -hmm. office. And Patty, who is the, who is the overall coordinator for all uh, sales areas downstairs, these three ladies are phenomenal. And all the people who preceded them in those positions. Exactly. Oh, That's right. That's right. right. And our volunteers. If you don't have a job, we'll find one for you. Join us, please. Ooh, we can use people up in the Topeka room too. So, <laughs> give us a call. Yeah, right. <laughs> we can always use more volunteers. Up yes. There.